Did you know that every year there are like something like 15 billion of these RFID tag produced plastic outside in the nature? Uh, Stora Enzo, actually with Yuha here on the IoT show today, will tell us how they are offering very advanced asset tracking solutions along with innovation on the RFID tag side of things that makes them sustainable and recyclable. Today on the IoT show. Hi everyone, you're watching the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host, and today we have Yuha, who's coming here to tell us all about Stora Enzo, his company. And Yuha, we have some very specific topic about sustainability to tackle, but first, tell me a bit about yourself, about what Stora Enzo does, and what kind of solutions based on Azure IoT you guys are building. Thanks, great to be here. And, and yes, Juha Majala is my name. I'm working for a company called Stura Enzo. Mm -hmm. So it's a Finnish, Swedish based company, globally active, and we are a renewables materials company. So the kind of a heritage is in renewable materials and things that you can manufacture out of it and provide materials to, to, to businesses. Okay. It's a bit of an old company. We have been launched uh, or started 1288, so we are more than 700 years old. Wow. So sustainability also business wise. Okay. Well, you've been doing that for that long? Impressive. Yeah. yeah. Like, so, why, so first, let's get to like, the business part of it, right? So what kind of solutions do you guys offer at a high level? Right? Having in mind sustainability and so on is great, but what is the solution that you're making money out of? Yeah. So as we are a renewable materials company, we also concentrate on digitalization. Mm -hmm. and, and thus, we have a new business unit within Stura Enzo. Okay. And the task for that business unit is digitalized packaging flows. Okay. So th those solutions to digitalize packaging flows and the ways we help retail or industry to make better business is mm -hmm. our in a way target. Okay. And last summer, 2019, we launched the, the new retail solution. Okay. So we are a bringing itemized uh, item level traceability solutions to enable frictionless retail, unmanned stores, es especially in the smart convenience space. Okay, so imagine small shop that has like small fridges with your uh, your um, products that actually are perishable. Yeah. You want to track how many are left in stock. You want to track like all that kind of things, but you want to track by the bottle, by the the item, not exactly. by the box, right? Yeah. So we are starting from intelligent cabinets. Mm -hmm. They are the modular structure of our unmanned store okay. solutions, and and those can be in hotels, gyms, schools, okay. you know, places that people look convenience, mm -hmm. fresh food because we can track best before dates, we can provide dynamic pricing that okay. we minimize the waste. That's so, also the target. So you help, you help your customers track the packages for optimizing their business and their sales, but yeah. also reduce the waste, which actually is helping them as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and and, and that, that kind of solution is kind of self-contained, as in you have the, the devices uh, that are actually in that fridge to sense what kind of devices or what kind of items are in there. Yeah. Uh, but you also collect data and use analytics and then dashboarding and so on in the cloud, leveraging Azure IoT, correct? Yeah. Okay. Those are, Azure is really key as a platform for us, so we have built our platform on top of it. We use Azure IoT Hub, plus, of course, our software is on top of it. Yeah. And, and the, really the idea is that, that these devices, these are the, the fridges, those are the IoT devices that connect to, to the Azure. And, and with this one, consumer approaches the cabinet, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, shows credit card or mobile payment app, which yep. then automatically checks the credit, uh, that's everything is okay, yeah. uh, and opens the cabinet. Okay. Then a consumer picks anything, puts back, we can have 25 to 30 SKUs, we can have up to 200 items in the cabinet. Okay. So it's actually quite amazing amount of stuff that you can put in there. Yep, yep. And in the cases that we have done with our customers, we are reaching almost 100% yield. So meaning with this amount of goods, this amount of SKUs, we have really good reliability. Yeah, it's like certainly uh, even better than humans doing the inventory in the aisles when you see them in the shops, you know, exactly. like doing that, yeah. right? Yeah. Awesome. So let me actually challenge you a little here. So you're yep. talking about like uh, cutting on waste and being sustainable. Um, RFID tags are known to be made out of plastic, yeah. which is not a good thing. I know you guys are innovating in that space. So I need to learn a bit more. So Microsoft, you know, made recent announcements about our commitment 
uh, to reducing the footprint even better, like to kind of cancel the MISO footprint um, since its existence. What are you guys doing to contribute? As everyone has to do its part, right? Actually, that's, that's a good comment then. And in that sense, it's true. For example, in apparel industry, it's 15 billion garments tagged with uh, plastic-based tags. 15 billion? 15, one okay. five, 15 okay. billion. Yeah, yeah. So you can imagine that it's a huge amount. So even though you think about it, it's, it's a small hang tag. Yeah, yeah. But when it's plastic-based, it starts to make a uh, difference. Yeah. And for us, Stura has launched uh, a little over a year ago, Eco RFID tag technology. Oh, okay. So it's a new technology, sustainable technology, to print RFID tags on a paper, do the chip assembly differently, and enable much more wiser converting processes afterwards. And that okay. comes to the situation that we have launched to the apparel industry, but also for the intelligent cabinet solutions, we have launched our Eco RFID tags. Okay. So these are uh, made of renewable paper, can be recycled, okay. and we are even working uh, to have it fully compostable fully compostable in the future as well. Yeah. Tell me a bit more about the technology and like printing on paper for mm. something that like traditionally this kind of things are actually made out of, of plastic, right? Yeah. So like like what's the change like in terms of the design for these RFID tags and what really changes physically when you when you touch them when you when you interact with them? Yeah. The main main simplest thing is is here is is actually that that you have here the hang tag when you buy yeah. a buy a clothes and in, in this case we have a label which is attached to it. Okay, yeah. So this label is, is fully plastic play yeah, yeah. based. Okay. So if I if I try to tear it up it's it's really difficult. Yeah, yeah. Because it looks like paper but you cannot do it. Yeah, yeah. And that and thing is not recyclable. I mean that it's, thing if you beat the plastics and yeah. it's thrown away. Yeah, bad. It's bad. Bad. And in that sense what we did is actually we build it on a paper. So if you make a, this kind of a uh, tack here. Okay. It's actually inside there and, and, and it's it's on paper and paper. Okay. okay. So the process is absolutely different. So it took us 10 years to develop the technology. Okay. So it's not the, it's not the one night wonder in that sense. Okay. You're talking about billions of these tags out there in terms of the cost for production and for the, for the buyers, for, for your customers. Cost is there a big difference? Yeah, cost neutral. So okay. we have a excellent performance, excellent reliability. Uh, we have cost neutrality. And the differentiator for us is really the sustainability. Yeah. So you know, we need to play the game that all the other players are uh, doing in the field. And that's the reason we are also working with our partners who are, you know, established and, and uh, have been a long time in this business. So in that sense, my, my, my kind of a trick always is yeah. where when you have this kind of a hang tag, yeah. nowadays you can do this, you can tear it, throw it to the paperboard recycling, and that's yeah. the simple thing with that yeah. one. Yeah. I hope um, that you're going to actually have something for consumers, well, beyond actually being able to just like tear it, to mm. really know it's something that is recyclable. You guys need to be visible, I think. Yeah, and, and we have the visibility in, in our, uh, you know, labels. Okay. So, so if you, if you co for example, use it in the new retail mm -hmm. solution, you can, you take your, your milk or whatever, yeah. you're buying your, your sandwich there, and then if you start to tear it off, you can see that it's, it's, it's paper-based, so you can hear see it from there. I love that. Good. Yuha, that's all great news. Anything else you want to add? No, in that sense, I'm more than happy to tell you, but yep. this is a solution which is already out there in the market. Yes. Yep. It's available, it's functional. It's not a kind of a thing that, let's see in the future, can this make like sense? It. it makes sense now. I like that. And so actually, why would company at the same cost would not use your solutions? I don't know why, and they're using Azure IoT in the back end. Yeah. So, well, <laughs> even better for me. Yeah. Uh, so, Juhas, thanks a lot for making the trip over here. Thanks, uh, my pleasure. If you want to learn more about uh, Stora Enzo and the fantastic innovations and solutions that they deliver, you can go to aka.ms slash IoT show slash Stora Enzo, E-N-S-O. Thanks very much for watching the IoT show. Thanks for coming Thank over you. here. I uh, hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.